Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what we've got for you today is, well, a nice interesting pen. As you can see from uh, first impressions here, what we've got is a lovely mottled hard rubber fountain pen. Um, comes with this gold plated trim. You can see it's got this um, ball clip to the top of the cap there. And then if we show the lever there, you can see it's got quite a standard a uh, gold plated lever to the barrel there now the size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel it's approximately 142 millimeters capped and around the diameter of the barrel around about 11 millimeters in diameter now well what make is this particular pen some of you will look at it and have a guess at numerous manufacturers it looks very similar to sort of numerous vintage pens but what we have for you here this is a well it's a Taifu T fountain pen now the Taifu T company um, they started off in the early 1900s and as you some people will be aware well hopefully most of you'll be aware the Taifu Tea Company are still going strong today. Now, the reason for these particular pens, now if I actually show you the, the imprint to the barrel, let's keep it nice and still for you. And I'm hoping you can actually read there, it says, try Taifu Tea for indigestion. Let's give it a little bit of a twirl. And I'm hoping that's quite clear for you. So I'm hoping you can read that. So it says, try Taifu Tea for indigestion. Now the Taifu Tea pens, these particular pens, um, this is a slightly later one, which I'm dating. I'm dating around about 1920s. I believe they made slightly early ones. Um, they came in a black hard rubber and they were quite sort of cheap cheaply made pens i believe but what actually happened of the period around about these the 1920s typhoon tea um what they actually did um within their tea they actually put in a little tea card which um well are quite collectible even today and these typhoon tea cards apparently what you could actually do you could actually collect them and then once you've got a certain amount you could actually redeem them to Taifu Tea and get a fountain pen. As I say, the early ones I believe were sort of quite a cheaply made black and then they actually came out again in around about 1920s, this particular one. Um, and again, different sort of variations. And there's actually a little bit of sort of mystery of who actually made these particular pens. Um, some of the names that I believe that may have made them were Conway Stewart of the time. Um, I've heard maybe even Wyvern maybe have made the pens. Also, there's talk of maybe Todd and Company. Um, for me personally, I think it was a company called Curzon Summit or the Summit pen manufacturer and also I've heard Mentmore being mentioned now these particular pens as I say around about 1920 a little bit later around about the 1930s they, they brought out a if you like a sort of a vacuum filler fountain pen which if you actually look into them particular pens you will actually see well where well, if you look at their clips, if you like, on their pens, you can actually tell that some of them were meant more pens, some of them were summit pens. But what we're going to do is just concentrate on this particular one. So, as I say, around about the 1920s, and this one's a lever fill in this gorgeous mottled hard rubber. So, let's unscrew the cap. Let's give you a little twirl. This one incidentally came to me from a customer for a service. We've we've basically given it given it a good service. We've given it a clean, etc. So in an absolutely gorgeous condition. If we take you up to the top of the pen, there you can see the section. Um, a nice little touch here. The section is also in this hard mottled um, hard rubber. To the top there, we've got. This is actually a warranted 14 karat gold nib 
So these particular pens, because we didn't know um, who the manufacturers were of the time, again, the standard thing in them days was to, was to put a warranted nib on the pens. If we turn it over, show you the feed. On this, on this pen you can see it's got quite a standard black feed. I believe in some cases you will find them with a mottled hard rubber feed as well to match to match the pen as I said it's been restored we've put a new sack in it so I know you people like to see pens working so as always there we go looking over the camera I can see lots of bubbling going on so everything looks fine at this point let's bring on a pad now on inspection this particular nib looks like it may write with a broad line so let's see how it actually writes so as I say what we have is um, a tie interestingly enough the way this is actually spelled is tie with a with a dot and then a PH double O so it's Taifu T pen and as I say the TY then a dot and a foo nowadays there's no dot there so they must have in some time um, after this particular period they actually must have disregarded or taken away the dot for whatever reason so how does it write? absolutely lovely okay so as I say in my opinion it's writing with a broad line it's writing with a broad line but just well no I'm trying to find it no there's no there's no variation in the line or just maybe just slightly but the main thing <laughs> What a gorgeous writer, lovely and smooth. So there we go, there's a writing sample for you. As I say, absolutely beautiful writer. So it's, uh, I, I would say in my opinion, writing with a lovely broad, broad nib, which for me personally, well, broad, I prefer broad to any other nibs, but everyone to their own. So there we have it, let's keep it quite short. There we have this particular example of the uh, Taifu T fountain pen in this gorgeous black, sorry not black, in this mottled, mottled hard rubber design. Again, fully restored, beautiful condition and ready to go back to the customer. So, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen. As always, as much as I enjoy showing you people, don't be shy, leave a comment. But for now, I'll just say... Bye-bye now.